With the repeat function in Excel, you can enter some text and have it repeated a specific number of times. And we'll see how you can use that to create in-cell charts or a quick tally sheet or even find the last text entry in a column. But first we'll look at an alternative. If you're just trying to fill a cell with a certain symbol or letter or dash, you can type that value in the cell. So let's type a little star in there. So this cell, now I can format and it will fill that across with, with the asterisk. On the Home tab, I'm going to click the little button here at the bottom of the Alignment group. That opens Format Cells. A shortcut for that is Control-1. And on the Alignment tab, under Horizontal, instead of General, I will select Fill. When I click OK, it fills that cell with stars. I can make the column narrower. Nothing flows across into the next column. If I make it wide, it just fills the whole width of the column. So if that's your only goal, then just use that formatting feature to fill the cell. But in this example, we're going to create a little in-cell chart with the repeat function. So in this cell, I'll type equals R-E-P-T open the bracket, and the text I want in my little chart is going to be based on the letter N. So within quotes, I'll type N, oops, sorry, lowercase n, and then a comma. And the number of times that I want this is based on the quantity that I've got in this cell. So it's B3, and I'll divide it by 5, just to make it a bit smaller chart and close the bracket and press enter. So that gives me a little chart, but to make it more appealing, I'm going to format this cell with wingdings. And that puts in little squares instead of the letter N. And I'll make it a bit smaller font. I'll pick a size nine. Now to get this column the right width if the quantity is 100, which is going to be our maximum. I'll just double click here to auto, si auto size that. So that's the full width if it's 100. Now if I copy this down by dragging the fill handle, we can see that 55 is just over half and 80 is much closer to the end of the cell. We can do something similar to create a little dot chart as well. So in this cell, again, I'll type equals R-E-P-T, open the bracket, and this time I want just an empty cell with a little circle at the end that represents the final value. So I'm going to use spaces. So quote, space, quote, and a comma. And again, we're going to use the quantity here. So the number of repeats is based on this quantity divided by five. And we want the little dot to be the last value. So I'm going to subtract one from that number of repetitions. So we're going to have spaces up to a certain point and then an ampersand. And at the very end, we'll just put a lowercase o. So repeat spaces up to the end and then an O. And we can see there's the full width of the chart. So I'll just double click. We'll shrink it just to fit where the 100 goes to. And then if I fill down, we can see where the other charts end. So it's just a cleaner looking chart. You're only focused on the final point, not the, all the fill that takes you to that final point. And the third example is just a little tally sheet that we can create. So it's like scratching on a paper. You put four sticks and then cross out those four to represent groups of five when you're counting. So you can keep score in a game or, or just mark off days. So 
the formula for here, we're combining a couple of repeat functions. So first we're taking four t's and a blank. And to get the number, we look at the count in, the, in cell B3 and divide that by five because we want little groups of five here. Then if there's anything left over after we divide by five, that is represented by the lowercase l. And to get the straight sticks here, I formatted these cells with Comic Sans font. And the final example is you can use the repeat function with a VLOOKUP to find the last text item in a column. So here we're looking in column D and the VLOOKUP that we use, we create one by repeating Z 255 times and we use an approximate lookup and that gives us the last thing it can find in that column.